the 12 week challenge, but if you're feeling like you want an extra workout, this would be great. More importantly though, this workout is gonna be for my beginner audience. I wanna make sure that everyone can do my workouts. So if you're having a hard time keeping up with the, the workouts that I have on the website so far, then this will be an awesome start for you. Your goal will be to continue with this workout, and do this one on a regular basis, and then I will post another sort of intro or beginner type workout in the next few weeks so you have some change as well. But there's no sense in doing a workout um, that's hurting you or causing you any kind of uncomfortable uh, or unpleasant feeling. A workout should be a little bit unpleasant, but you never want it to be um, too grueling. So if this is something that um, if you're doing my workouts and you're finding that they're just too difficult, you can't get the technique down because technique is going to be the most important thing and this workout is for you. And eventually you will do, be able to do the workouts that I post. Um, once you master this workout um, and then the next few beginner workouts, then you'll be ready for those ones. But um, you can also do this one as an extra one. I do this kind of a workout when I'm having a low energy day or I want something extra to do too hard. There will be no plyometrics, so it will be a little easier on the knees. I'm going to be doing 10 exercises, one minute in length with a 30 second rest. So it does give you a little longer rest to recover and a little bit more time for me to go over each exercise in between each set, um, technique, etc. So I'll start showing uh, level one and level two ways to do the exercises so when you do get stronger, you can move up to the level two movement. So. I think that's all I need to say. We will get started on the first exercise, which is a squat. One other quick thing. I have water bottles with me. You don't ever have to use them, but I'm going to use them today just to show you how uh, just something as simple as water bottles can add to the intensity. The, these are eight, no, one liter bottles, so you can also get them a little bit bigger for increased weight. I'm guessing these are about three pounds. So you probably wouldn't want to use anything heavier than this, but if it's too easy, then you can move up to heavier dumbbells. So I'm going to use the water from squats just to show you how it would look. But of course you don't have to. You can also add intensity by putting your hands behind your neck like so. So one minute starting squats. We're going to start the timer. When you hear the beat, that means you start. Okay, so we're starting. So with the squat, you always want to make sure that you're bending at the knees, not the waist, keeping your chest up at all times. When you get tired, you're going to be tempted to lean forward and do more like a bow. So your goal is to always keep the chest up. Envision that there's a wall in front of you, and if you were to lean forward, you bump your head on that wall. It's a really good visual. Weights on your heels, and your knees go straight. Squeeze your bum at the top. Each time you come up, come up all the way, and squeeze your bum. You may as well use every muscle you can. Actually, 
resting. It's also difficult on that joint.
no way for a minute this will be difficult. I've got my water bottles. We're gonna have a slight bend in the knee, tuck in the pelvis, like so. You do not want to push the lower back. That's why we start with the light weight. Slight bend, tuck in the pelvis. Abs engage, we'll get ready. Posture, staying as 
Thighs are channeled through chest. Big space between your front and back leg. So your knee isn't going over the front toe. You should see the toe in front of you as you bend. Switch legs. So my knee is touching the ground as I go down, but it's not resting. Brace on the front heel, back toe. Keep your back heel up. Thanks so much. Good work and we'll see you next time.